today. So having said that, let's discuss the last sport and then we are going to call it a day. Maybe five more minutes and that is it. Okay. But in this board, I want you to come along with me in pondering or in thinking how this source is going to create a message which should be delivered only to these two hosts who are showing interest in the video stream which is with, with, with this source, right? So if we write down the packet, suppose the source address is 10.100, the MAC address is CCC, right? What is going to happen now? I am saying that this source is sending the multicast stream or this video stream to 239.1.1.1, right? And through some mechanism, this guy has started listening to a 239.1.1.1. This guy also has started listening at 239.1.1.1. Maybe these two guys have clicked on that link, which is shared by Mr. Rahul. And this guy didn't receive the email, so he is very much oblivion about or he doesn't know anything about this stream, right? So what will happen? This source is going to create a packet which is going to have this data for sure. Then source IP and destination IP. You all know source IP is going to be 10.100. And by the way, there is no change in the source. Source is having the normal IP address, right? Normal unicast IP address. But now it is sending this message to 239.1.1.1. This is the special address. I have replaced x dot x dot x with 239.1.1.1. Now, here comes another thing. If I want to put this packet on this Ethernet wire, if this source want to put this packet on this Ethernet wire, it has to create source MAC and destination MAC. Source MAC is very, very simple. Normal unicast MAC address. The destination MAC address is going to be the special address. And I give you an exercise. Please do convert 239.1.1.1 address to a multicast MAC address. And you can do it, right? For now, I am writing just Y, Y, Y. That is it, right? Try to understand this Y, Y, Y is the result of converting 239.1.1 into the multicast address and you can do that exercise. If that is the case, now this host can put this packet or the frame over this wire. What is going to happen? Switch will receive it. Now, very, very interesting thing happens at the switch, right? And now I am making this switch as a little bit more aware switch. What is the meaning of little bit more aware? The meaning of little bit more aware is now the switch is, is becoming more intelligent. Previously, it was just seeing the destination MAC address and forwarding it. That is it. But now through some rules, through some protocols, these hosts are conveying a message to this Mr. Switch that Mr. Switch, I have started listening at an address which is y.y.y. Dot y dot y. Why? Because the switch understands the MAC address. And here this host is informing it, I have started listening at y.y.y. Dot y dot y. Which rules, which protocols? These rules and protocol are basically come into the category of IGMP snooping, which we will be starting from tomorrow. So now this switch is really, really aware, right? It is, it is watching or it is snooping some of the messages from this host, right? And it is getting some information. It is creating a table. When this host sends a message that it has started listening on y.y.y, dot y dot y, right? It will put an entry that, okay, on my 0 slash 4 interface, some host is interested in y.y.y. Dot y dot y. After some time, this host is also going to say, I am also interested in y.y.y. Dot y dot y. 
this switch will say okay another host who is interested in this right from bluehost it is not going to get this any message right i am i am exactly not showcasing you how igmp snooping work i am just thinking how this communication should work this switch should know what are the mac addresses interested in this stream otherwise it is going to do the flood very very interesting right how it is going to create that what is the actual process we will be learning igmp snooping tomorrow but not today but i am saying that through some mechanism switch start listening the messages of this host and it means that it is doing some extra work generally what is the work of switch it sees the destination mac address and forward the message but now it is doing something extra it means that i am making this switch more aware more intelligent as simple as that if this switch can does that if this switch can make it able then believe me if this message goes here switch has to read just its destination mac address which is y dot y dot y and it will be forwarding this message to only and only these two host one here one here but to do that just try to understand this is a single message which is coming to the switch and now switch has to deliver it to two interface it means that it needs to do that copy and paste it needs to make another copy of this switch and this process is known as this process is known as replication try to remember the dream of that store manager who thinks that wouldn't it be nice that if my delivery boy reach to that y junction and replicates himself so that one guy can go into one society another guy can go into another society in real life it cannot be possible but here it can possible switch can replicate the uh, the messages and this is nothing new for switch try to understand in certain cases switch has to do broadcast what is the meaning of broadcast if a packet comes and if there are 20 hosts connected to it it is going to send to those all those 20 host in case of broadcast it means that one message switch is going to replicate 20 times for switch this is not a new thing to replicate things or to replicate messages here you are just taking some load from the switch if you make this switch aware if the switch learns the, these mac addresses with these interfaces right this switch will be replicating this message only twice for two hosts if there are three hosts interested only thrice it never ever needs to do this broadcast otherwise in normal cases if a switch see a multicast packet believe me if you do not make this switch aware it is going to flood it what protocol make this switch aware intelligent is igmp if you igmp snooping which we are going to talk about tomorrow so this is the whole soul thing which i wanted to discuss in today's class i am open for all of your questions yes if you get only maybe 50% of today's class and you have lots and lots of question it is perfectly fine believe me those questions are going to i am going to answer in the remaining classes right multicast is a uh, you can say it's it's a topic which is slightly different than your unicast approach it might take some time to grasp right the best thing is if you just forget some of the rules of your unicast routing right you can get it because we are we are dealing with a use case which is totally different we are not sending one to one messages guy we are sending message to group of people we are identifying that group with a one address 239.1.1.1 and then one mac address also but the basics are going to be same basics are not going anywhere right we are building on top of our basics we are making our network more efficient 
consider if we had sent this Mr. Uh, Mr. Burak's uh, presentation or Mr. Burak message in the form of 400 unicast streams, it would have been a blunder, right? That is why we have multicast. As simple as that. Having said that, if you guys have questions, please do ask. Otherwise, see you in the next.